Hello, this is Andrew with Missing Remote. And I just wanted to highlight something I found in the Ubiquity community forum. Uh, before digging into that real real quick, just to explain what this means. So the, the Unify gateways, uh, that's USG, USG Pro, UDM, UDM Pro. So to some extent or another, all of the Unify gateways implement a feature called IDS slash IPS, which is intrusion detection system and intrusion prevention system. Uh, I don't really know why you would want to run the IDS instead of the IPS. Usually if you have something that detects and, well, I, I'm not sure why you wouldn't want to detect and prevent threats, but um, it's there. The feature is has, has different capabilities on the different models. So the USG is limited to, I believe, 60 megabits per second of throughput when that feature is, when IDS IPS is turned on, the USG Pro is right around 300 megabits per second, where the UDM and UDM Pro, I'm not sure, I don't recall if they publish official numbers, but when I tested it, I wanna say it was around 3.7 gigabits per second. So well over what most of us would have coming into your home or your small business with like a, a one gigabit fiber line or something like that. So the issue is that Ubiquity is using a very old version of the Suricata, which is an open source version of IDS IPS on, the, the, on their gateways. Uh, so this thread's been open for a little while. Um, well, it's actually been an ongoing issue for quite a long time that, they, that they're doing it this way. But they, somebody opened up a thread requesting an update on it. And oddly enough, Somebody from Ubiquity actually chimed in, which is awesome. It's great that they took the opportunity to provide some feedback on what, what's happening, what they're doing, and all of that. In that post, UI Marcus notes that Suricata will be updated to 4.1.8 soon on the UDM. Uh, he didn't say anything about when the USG will get updated, so that's not awesome if you have a USG or a USG Pro. Uh, he did say that it doesn't matter that much that they're using an end of life product. You know, it, I, I think it's convenient. It's easy and convenient for him to say that. One thing that is a little bit troubling is that they're actually going to a product that isn't the newest version. So 4.1.8 was released back in April of 2020, and the current version of the 4.1 branch is 4.1.9, and that was released about a month ago. Unfortunately, the 4.1 branch is end of life at the end of 2020. So their Ubiquity is implementing a version of Suricata which is past due just before it ends of the 4.1 branch is end of life. Now, they would, they, as they said, they they will continue to support it, and there's not a huge concern around pushing it a little bit past the end of 2020. In my opinion, it would be ideal if they would, I guess, just go to the five. Now there is a six branch, but six is just got released. I think that was just a couple months ago. So it's completely understandable why they wouldn't want to jump to six, but five has been out for a while. I think it would be better if they went to five. I am fully supportive of, the, supportive of them going from the four branch that they're on now, which it's kind of ridiculous that they're still doing it that way, but going from 4 to 4.18, and then hopefully 4.19 soon thereafter, and then in the next year, in 2021, going to the 5 branch. I think that that is, it, it would make sense from a, a timeline perspective, but obviously they have not committed to that yet. So it's one of those things that it's great that they're providing feedback. Ideally, they do the right thing here because this is something that they market as a, as a feature for why you would want to one step up from a USG to a UDM or UDM Pro, but two as one of the things that their firewalls provide. Talking about what version is actually going to come in, it he originally said it was going to come in 1.9.0, but then I guess after some discussion, it is now going to come in 1.8.3. That's great, but so the current version is the current stable version is 1.8.0 and that was released three months ago. If you're part of the um, Ubiquity Early Access group, which you just sign out for, you can actually see what the status is of upcoming firmware to some degree or another. 
Um, I'd like to talk a little bit about that more, but unfortunately, the last time I mentioned stuff about there that was covered by that, um, they got a little bit snippy, even though it's unc <laughs> even though they break the, the uh, NDA, and I say NDA in quotes, um, with great regularity, but I'd rather not run afoul of them. So go sign up for that, have a look, and you can see like where they're at with it. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you have questions or comments, let me know, and I will get to them as soon as I can. Thanks.